I had to repair this drill, hand drill, battery, uh, with a battery from 14.4 volts. Because the reverse switch from the motor didn't work properly. And in fact it was very easy. Uh, I used another on and off switch here. And especially these types of switches. Uh, not, not all of them. But, but uh, some of them can handle the big current that such a better battery drill takes could be 5 or 6 ampere and of course when you are drilling or um, whatever way you use this thing the, the current goes up because uh, uh, the motor um, is um, braked in a certain way and that means that the electrical current goes up to say 10 ampere, perhaps 15 ampere, I don't know that exactly. You can measure that very easily anyway. So this is a good type of switch and here you see that type of switch too. This one is for low currents, this one is for high currents. It's from a washing machine. So that's a good uh, type of switch for on and off. And then the reverse switch is here. And I want to explain it later. This is an uh, automotive switch, old school. And all these car and automotive switches can handle a lot of current. They are made for that. Only problem with these kinds of um, switches is that soldering is sometimes a problem. And you need these plugs to connect it but there was limited room here to make the reverse switch I'm gonna mount it here so on the back side so I had to solder it and solder it for a very short time as short as possible because the plastic from these uh, switches uh, is sometimes a little weak especially when it's heated and then you can damage the switch here is that reverse switch. This is one um, schematic. And here's the other one. Exactly the same circuit. But perhaps this um, uh, says more about how that switch must be uh, connected. Positive, negative on the battery, the motor here. And when these two contacts move to one side, the voltage is reversed. And the motor runs in the other direction. It's a DC motor. And here that switch again. So a very easy repair. And perhaps I can use this uh, drill again for say three years or so. And I repaired it because this battery proved to be very good. It was originally a manpower drill, cheap, uh, cheap drill, but this, this battery is very good and even better than my Makita. So that's the reason why I repaired it. Anyway, 